after Kazan, but they can't get Kazan. Kazan's going strongly, and Kazan will go home and win. Oh, Black Ninja out wide. Might have got up for second in front of Ima Gonski, then Bow Boy. Lucky day. Russian Doll followed back there now uh, by Jetson Quaker, Mrs. Punting, JC Hurt, and uh, they followed uh, towards the tail of the field here on crossing uh, Kiki Road. TAB Trackside 2, meeting code 18, race 4 at Halladon. Here's Terry with the call. $10 in three points, eight to $7. Then number 11, Dubai Sun, was the one So the last to come up now by the Stars. So they're all in now. Race number four. First leg of the quaddy. Flea and Doug Falston Memorial. Open race. Racing. And from the inside, uh, Dubai Sunrise hopped away well. Getting out fast as well was Tizzy Lizzy. It's up in search of the lead and going with it was Where's That? And uh, now there's another one. Grigio now trying to head them all off. So it's Grigio now and where's that? Dubai Sunrise with the inside third. Fourth placing Tizzy Lizzy. Then in Tosser Care. Another length of Smart Jester. Then back inside of it. Married for money. Mild mannered back on the fence wanting to over race. Then Kalo Taxithi. Rail Rules was third last from Orlando's Charm. And by the stars was last. Grigio now led. Where's that second? Tizzy Lizzy third. Then in Tosser Care. Dubai Sunrise back on the fence next Smart Jester. Mild Mannered was next. In between runners married for money. Taking off Kalo Taxithi. Then Rail Rules. Orlando's Charm and By the Stars. They're heading towards the 500 metre mark. And Grigio now led narrowly from Where's That? Deeper out. Tizzy Lizzy in Tosser Cares trying to work into the clear. Off the track. Smart Jester with Kalo Taxithi. Then Dubai Sunrise. Mild Mannered. Rail Rules. Married for money. By the Stars and Orlando's Charm. They swing. First into the home straight. Grigio now, where's that? Joining it though. Deeper out on the track, Ben uh, making some ground in Tosser Care. Dubai Sunrise coming out. And then Smart Jester. Where's that? Grigio now. Dubai Sunrise in Tosser Care. By the stars flying. Where's that one? Where's that? Now the miners. Dubai Sunrise prominent within Tosser Care and by the stars, which charge late. Grigio now next. Uh, then Mild Mannered, behind it, then Married for Money, Rail Rules, Smart Jester, Kalo Taxithi, Orlando's Charm and Tizzy Lizzy. Where's that? Has won here in a busy finish. Number eight, Caitlin Forrest for Ken Sweeney. Well, in the previous, we saw Jetmaker finally break its duck at start number 23 for Where's That? It's win number two at start number 37. He'd won one from 36 before today, and first up today, he's been able... Huge to... fresh up win here for Where's That? Hasn't raced since May. And Caitlin Forrest with that two kilo claim at 19 to 1. Anyone's guess for second. Great line up there for the miners. But uh, Where's That? Takes out at race four at Halliden. Time to go to Cranbourne now for race number six. Terry Bailey, his numbers here are 6, 12, 2 and 9. We'll get on course and join the TVN team as we lead into race six at Cranbourne. 5.50, then back into $5. According to the uh, market price, this is a match race between those two as they continue to mill around behind the gates with a minute of betting time remaining here for the sixth. And just uh, monitoring this situation to see if there's any more come in for either of these runners. And uh, we've had Sonsonora's open 180. She was virtually turned to 190 after about three or four minutes and she's just stayed there ever since. Royal Trieste was stuck on $5 for a long while. Got to 550. As soon as they got there, it was taken into $5.
and the pattern with the bookies is they just continue to turn every other runner out. Uh, I don't think we're going to be having a market mover here. As they start to fill the gates now, we're on start time for race six, the second leg of the quaddy. And let's head up to Terry now to call it. So, Sun Senoris, I was really looking for a big push from her late. Everyone's suggesting that she's the good thing of the day. Um, I thought she'd be very, very short. Punter's still letting, uh, bookmaker's still letting the punters on at this stage at $1.90, a little shorter on the tote. Just about ready. We're nearly set to go. Ruby One, who trailed up nicely, resumes, but she's got a bad gait for this assignment. Her 1,000 metre stats are pretty good. Lady Pippa with a pink cap on. Bold Eby, the stable mate, the grey. There's a midget ready. Forever True, Delta Whiskey, and we're set to go. Sun Senoris is the fave. Drawn in. All set. They're off. She jumped pretty well, Sun Senoris. Away fast, Jenny from the block. Royal Trieste wide out began well, but she's drifted back and very wide. Sun Senoris cantered through on the fence to head Jenny from the block. That's no mean feat. A length away, Lady Pepper. A length and a half to Bold Evie. Settlers run. Then outside of it is Delta Whiskey. Royal Trieste has had no luck at all. They were followed well back by Omaru Faith. Then Summer's Day. Two lengths forever true. Drifting back to third last from well out of it. Then as they turn, Ruby won. And the trailer on the corners of Midget. Sun Senoris, the front runner. Coasting along at the moment by one length on Jenny from the block. Then Lady Pepper on the fence. Pulling out Bold Evie making ground. And further back is Omaru Faith in the running. Sun Senoris. Boss had a clicker up at the 200, led by two links. Bold Evie's wide out on the track with Lady Pepper both battling away. But Sun Senoris is too fast for them over the short course. Boss had a peep around through the rear vision mirror and she won three links. Bold Evie second, not sure third. Settlers Road late or in between the pair, Lady Pepper. And then Royal Trieste. Well, she just had no luck at all from Summers Road. Behind those, Jenny from the block, Delta Whiskey. Forever true, Omaru Faith, Ruby won. TAB track side one, race three at Cranji, meeting code 12. With well, are a minute and a half over start time. Here's Matt Jones with the call. Apparently uh, Baron Vorster is recovering from that uh, leg injury sustained prior to the Emirates Singapore Derby. So hopefully Vorster will be back in the next few weeks. But Jaglau riding Mr Candy here. Now here is uh, Kevin 11 getting set and he's a striker to go forward as well. So the scratching is three day by day. It's McConnor here at 13. And he's a striker 22. Kevin 11, 27 and the six. Mr Candy in the market at 15. Mount Kinnabalu's out to a 48. We're just about right. They're set and now they're away and Kagito Ugozuma has gone back towards the tail. The favourite McConaughey near the inside away fairly and it's Mount Kinabalu who at the moment looks as though he's going to lead the field. So John Powell takes Mount Kinabalu to the front although here comes Kevin 11 now slowly working up on the outside and the green colours there for all press. It moves up into second. Mr Candy goes back into third. McConaughey is fourth on the rails. A few lengths away with a thousand metres to go as he's a striker and a two lengths away then to Kagito Ugozum. So Mount Kinabalu about to swing left-handed off the far side. Leads out. has got the mouth open. He's in front by about a length from Kevin 11. Then McConaughey is having a nice enough run third. The inside. Mr Candy with the favours fourth. Then he's a striker fifth. And further back, Kagito Ergo Zoom. So 24-7-5 the first sectional there for the first 400. And it's Mount Kinabalu being joined on the outside by Kevin 11. Around the turn they come. Then McConaughey who just needs a bit of room back there. Mr Candy gets to the outside and keeps McConaughey uh, pocketed for the time being. He's a striker. Pulls out four deep to make his run. Mount Kinabalu is gone. 300 metres to go. Kevin 11 went to the front. Now McConaughey gets out. He's a striker. Then Mr Candy who can't quite go with those in front of him for the time being. McConaughey sweeping up to Kevin 11. He's a striker in with a shot as well. Kevin 11 fighting hard with also McConaughey who might have his nose in front from he's a striker. It's going to be a very close photo finish here but McConaughey. McConaughey just from Kevin 11 and he's a striker. Mr Candy and further back Mount Kinabalu and Kagito Ugozuma's run last. Favourite gets there, but um, it was a struggle. Just had a bit of good fortune on the point of... TAB trackside two. We were just a minute out from the next at Gundagai. Meeting code four, race six. Evie number three at 3.50 and nine, Lady 
Pippa at five sixty, three six Quinella eleven dollars, six three nine trifecta three hundred and nine sixty and the six three nine five first four nine hundred and fifty three ten. So having a look at this race at Gundagai to get a treble underway and favourite still now number one O's Lonesome Me for Patrick Murphy and at four thirty two twenty five dollar fifty joint favourite on the options with number eight Kiss Me Goodbye for Brad Clark looking to chase down win number one. We'll take you to Gundagai for race six. Andy Bloomfield, my sister Ruby, is the horse in question. It's uh, third favourite for the race. Now it's second favourite at $5.10. Oh, Lonesome Me is the favourite way in an open market at $4.80. But uh, they're going to have a look at my sister Ruby. So there'll be a, a message from the Chief Steward at any tick of the clock to tell me about that. But they're loading well. These runners are coming in quite well. Kiss Me Goodbye has gone up. And here's uh, Hassan A's song edging forward. Now here's my message coming through. Yes, Mr Davidson? Yeah, fit to start. Thank you. Now this is right to run, so my sister Ruby's okay. My sister Ruby has been inspected by the vet at the start and has uh, found uh, no abnormality there, so she'll go with them, my sister Ruby. Now they're loading pretty well. I can barely see the last one or two. Let's have a look at our television monitor. Uh, the last one or two are about to come up. That's Ava, who's uh, just prancing behind the gate in the yellow and black colours for the locals. Uh, David and uh, Michelle, David Blundell and his daughter Michelle Russell train Ava. And uh, with this race basically starting in an obscured view from the broadcasting tower. Now here's another message coming through. Yes, Mr Davidson. Thank you again. Now the same horse my sister Ruby got its leg up in the stalls. It's having a little fun day. But again the vets had a look and again the vets happy. So my sister Ruby, uh, I can, it's really jumping about now. I can see the rider bouncing about Andy Bloomfield. Um, my sister Ruby's had two vet inspections and now, the, now they're off. So it's quite okay. My sister Ruby has jumped with them. They're off and away and it's a fairly good level start. Uh, oh So Touchable is one of the first ones to break the line and going forward in the early stages was uh, St James Lane and Fora Grand is on the inside. Now Ava coming across from a wide barrier is going to get up and balance outside the lead. They're being followed further back in the field by one going around the outside which is my sister Ruby who's had a few little adventures already. In behind those is Fora Grand being followed then by St James Lane. Now the favourite, the top weight, uh, O Lonesome Me in the red cap over the white and black about seventh on the inside being followed forward then by uh, Murray Galdry and further back was Weekend Getaway. Kiss Me Goodbye is over on the inside of uh, Hassan A Song and last of all raced Dorme. They're down the back side of the track over by the Murrumbidgee River at the Thousand and Ava's gone right around them and has scooted away to lead by the best part of three lengths coming up to the 900 so the locals in front it's Ava doing it by two and a half maybe three lengths too oh so touchable just shaded for second now by my sister Ruby who's gone up on the outside of oh so touchable in behind those is for a grand making ground is weekend getaway uh, Murray Gallery is coming from the back but wide and they're being followed by oh lonesome me who's on the inside of St James Lane kiss me goodbye as well back with uh, Hassan a song and also well back was uh, Dorme. Ava. Ava is the leader. As they sweep into the lane it's going to bring an advantage of a length to My Sister Ruby who's really going up to look now. My Sister Ruby and Ava. They are the first pair. My Sister Ruby and Ava. Ava and My Sister Ruby. They're going to fight it out. My Sister Ruby getting to the front of the closing stages. It's very very tired but it's going to get there and it gets home to score from uh, oh so touchable I think second. Ava's up there in a place for third and uh, just in behind those across the line was for a grand kiss me goodbye has passed a few late and uh, so too was Murray Galdry wider out in the middle of those St James Lane with Dorme further back was Oh Lonesome Me who was never likely well back was uh, Hassan A Song it's one of the last ones and uh, Weekend Getaway would be back near the tail of the field my sister Ruby will take this okay from the 10 I think possibly the 5 Hassan It Song into that third over the nine, Ava, very close for the miners, but no doubt about the winner, number seven, my sister Ruby. Start 20. TAB trackside one, Sha Tin, meeting code 10, race three. Were there just 
40 seconds out from start time. And then we're going to take Monaco, race nine, meeting code nine, race 12. Here's Peter Early. No form to recommend uh, Clover Appeal, but getting down to that inside box, certainly um, a big assist for it. So in the last two, five, three, and the one with your favourite core boarding night uh, at uh, $2.80 and $1.50. Back in two or three minutes, Des. Yeah, good on you, Pete. Three minutes away from uh, the Greyhounds. Uh, nice little comments there from Pete and giving you a bit of an insight into that last leg of the pick six at the Manukau Greyhounds today. Yeah. Right, uh, we'd love uh, Shatin to be spot on time. Hopefully they will close into the barrier, move into the barrier now. Divine 10, gee whiz, that's a warm favourite. Uh, this one by Holy Roman Empire, uh, who um, is already got five wins to its name. A second and a third in those seven starts. Divine 10. Gee whiz, the race is worth a fair bit of money as well. About ready to load up here and um, not too sure what the situation will be with Manukau Greyhounds also a minute and a half away. It may well be we might go to Manukau before we go to Sha Tin if they continue to walk around as they are doing. And Sha Tin for meeting 10 race number three which is over the distance of 1200 metres so the 1200 will be cut out in about one minute and 10 seconds. So what we'll do, we'll make an executive decision and we can. We'll get back to you Pete, we've got about uh, one minute and 20 seconds away from a start. Yeah, let's hope we start on time, eh? Uh, there, well, you heard my uh, original thoughts here going with the core board ignite. I thought uh, others uh, in the event, I see the, the ones that aren't covered fancy, my luck, Wheezy Appeal and uh, Rock and Rod. So if this pick six doesn't go off today, we're going to get a tidy one next week, that's for sure, for the big uh, uh, first group one race of uh, the new season. Uh, there, but, um, yeah, just um, others... Um Fancy my luck from the Schofield Kennels are drawn down in box at number four. Has gone around here 18 and 64. Um, just uh, the winner of one on the track here. Uh, Rock and Rod, uh, previous winner here 18 and 61. Eternal Magic off for the wide draw. Uh, wide draw, no problems for Eternal Magic. Had five looks for four minor placings and Wheezy Appeal uh, gets in off the ballot. And that's got a bit of time on the track as well. Just up a little bit and wait. Uh, today is Wheezy Appeal. So I'm not far from bringing them up for this, the last of the day. We've had uh, four seasons here. It's been warm, it's been wet, it's been cold, it's been windy. Uh, but uh, we've got through without any incident apart from that lure problem in race number one. Right, not far from bringing them up the last of the day. A favourite core boarding night looking to back up from Cambridge. We've seen a bit of Cambridge form come through again today. Uh, 2.30 and $1.20. Second favourite, uh, Eternal Magic off the wide at $3.90. Uh, they're the uh, Schofield runner. So up we go, the final time. Clover Appeal, Spitfire Osti, Cosmic Pearl, Rock and Rod, Corbett Ignite, Fancy Malak, Wheezy Appeal, Eternal Magic. So box, Orbit Box. Oh, what have we got here? We've got uh, Fancy Malak, uh, Clover Appeal, Rock and Rod, Eternal Magic. Now followed towards the tail of the field, Spitfire Rosti uh, was uh, back there and uh, Wheezy Appeal. Number two, we'll get you home in the last. Uh, Corbett Ignite to beat the five. And an 18 and 57. And we go the way of the one and the... Nothing gone up there as yet, but uh, number two gets uh, punters home. They'll be pretty happy uh, with that after the running of uh, the uh, final event. So just kept pushing. Five's gone a cheeky race. Cosmic Pearl, uh, Clover Appeal uh, was up there, and the four in Fancy Mile Up. Five just uh, wanted to wander out of it, just uh, loses the plot a bit, I think, there. And the two core putting night gets underneath, and it does get the prize nicely. 4.59, 13 and 98. Four by one and a quarter of the official margins. Backs up nice after the win the other day. Uh, there at uh, Cambridge by Dinah Lachlan, Sonic Bomb. Uh, there for uh, Carolyn Hoare from the lid. See the five steps out nicely. Uh, the two just want to wander out a bit, so the two of them just come together halfway up the back straight there, and then they balance up again. The five just kept wandering out. The two uh, just pushes down to the inside there, and uh, from there on, once it uh, saw the gap, it has raced away to score nicely in the last of the day. 
Nice run from the one, Clover Appeal, and that uh, inside draw certainly did help that. 1857, so I'm sure a punter or two will be happy with a favour taking up the last of the day in Corborn Ignite. Thanks to the guys. And, running, and it's going to run to the lead early on. It's a Merck here from Border Excel showing plenty of zip this afternoon. Then one and a half to Royal Rada. Nacho's a length away on the outside, fourth the favourite. Then came Hassars, who's back on the inside from IC Luck, and I'm cool.